Azure Alex, how are you doing? Today I'm showing you this um, Space Invader LCD uh, game. It's um, it's made actually by uh, Xeon um, Tech, uh, and it, they're licensing uh, Taito for uh, the Space Invader um, brand. And uh, what it is, it's actually a modern device. It's, it's not vintage at all. It's not really retro, although it's kind of using a you know writing the. <laughs> the retro vibe with this uh, sort of spaceship kind of outline it's pretty cool i i kind of like it even though it's it's not great but i uh, i do like it very much and they're using the uh, a similar design to um or similar um design yeah, to the uh, the uh, panorama game and watch and the uh, nintendo tabletop game and watch in the sense that uh, it's actually um, lit by natural light, uh, backlit, and then uh, it shines the uh, the light onto the LCD, and the LCD is reflected um, in this mirror here, and uh, it kind of works well in, uh, in in light, and it's it's in full color. So here it is, it's Space Invader. It actually works on uh, two screens, as you can see. There's a, a right here in the right hand corner. Um, you can see right and uh, and left. Actually, right is highlighted right now. So as you move uh, towards the left, you end up on the right screen. Sorry, as you move towards the right, you move. You end up on the right screen, and if you go back, you end up on the left screen. Uh, it's a pretty cool trick, actually, because um, yeah, the, the, the game works on two screens essentially, and uh, it's yeah, it's in colors. Uh, not many colors, but it's in a, a few colors. And um, let's have a look. Uh, so on this one the buttons are kind of sticky and uh, it's not very pleasant actually to press but they work the the main problem I think of this game is it's very sluggish the, the buttons don't quite respond as as well as you'd like and uh, there's a slight delay so you can't just as you would with an LCD you know a um, game one watch LCD game you it could actually go pretty fast, it would respond quite well to your input. This is not, there's a delay, and you can only go so fast. See, I'm just pressing like a maniac here, and I'm not moving at the same speed. Uh, same with the uh, fire rate, you can only shoot one bullet at a time. Uh, that's fine, it just, uh, that's just the way the game plays. I have no problem with that, but yeah, the fact that it's quite sluggish now, I, I, uh, I can't say I enjoy it very much. Um, but it's cool, it's cool to have. Um, I think yeah, actually uh, if you see it for cheap somewhere pick it up because it's I don't know it's a, it's a cool little um, um, homage to um, or is that the word I don't know <laughs> homage to uh, uh, Space Invader and, and Tato it's, uh, it's got a cool arcade feel as well I think and uh, yeah it, I like the fact that it's backlit and I like the, the design in general uh, it's pretty cool now this version I have I'm gonna stop this uh, you can actually stop the sound which um, I truly recommend because it gets annoying after a while or you can pause there's a pause button <laughs> love it <laughs> but uh, this came in a box um, I didn't find this a friend of mine actually found it uh, for me um, uh, I mentioned him in one of my uh, flea market videos um, Alan thank you very much um, what we do we actually um, we actually um, live in separate parts of the country, but we uh, we uh, have our pool, each our pool of flea markets and uh, secondhand shops that we go to, and whenever we find something that the other guy might be interested in, we, uh, we uh, text each other. Although he has found a lot more stuff for me than uh, I have found for him, but I end up, I usually end up uh, giving him all my doubles and stuff I don't really collect for, you know, the Wii stuff and. The other Xbox games and uh, some yeah, GameCube stuff um, and yes, yeah, the stuff I really don't care keeping uh, because um, you can either he usually um, either sells them back um, to complete his collection or or gives them to charity shop in exchange for some of the stuff they have. It's it works. It works for us. It works for him. It works for me. But thank you, he found this for me. That was really cool and it came in the box. Now the camera is a bit too. Um, close now but uh, this is the box it came in um, it's pretty cool now this is very recent I, I think it's, uh, it's it's early 2010 so I don't think uh, uh, 
it's actually hard to find any sort of information and the only date mentioned is uh, 1978 which is definitely not from it's just too brand new and shiny and and some of the uh, some of these didn't exist back then so um yeah i'm not sure i can't put a date on it i can't put a, a, a time actually if you know about it let me know in the comments because I, i'm just curious i'd like to know what the story is behind other than it's it's made by zeon tech and they licensed a uh, uh, tato space invader it takes uh, standard triple uh, um, uh, a batteries and um, there you go thanks for watching see you next time guys